Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. How can we share the gospel with someone in two minutes? Here's one way. We could use the language of reconnection. In other words, that the gospel of Christianity, the good news of Jesus, is that through Jesus we can be reconnected with God. See, the problem that we face both as human beings corporately but also personally is that we've become disconnected from God. We've unplugged ourselves from God. It's a bit like, um, let's say you have a laptop or a mobile phone charger and we've unplugged from the power source and we've thrown the cable away. That's what we've done. We said, God, we don't need you. We've got some power that you've given us. We've got some of our own resources and we'll go our own direction. Thank you very much. We don't want to be tied to you or, or, or connected to you. We want to go our own way. Now, the problem with that is that God is the ultimate source of all life, love, meaning, being, significance and hope. And without him, it's only a matter of time before that residual power he has given us runs out and the screen goes blank. The good news of Christianity is that Jesus came both to show us what a connected life looks like, a life that's plugged into God, and Jesus described that as being a life of, in all its fullness, but also that Jesus took upon himself the consequence of our disconnectedness from God. And he suffered death even though he was plugged into God. And he gave to us his power cable, as it were. Romans tells us that just at the right time, while we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. That's the good news of Christianity, the message of reconnection with God and of limitless life, love, meaning, hope, power and significance in and through that relationship with him. All made possible through Jesus on the cross.